Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury, planet of travel and communication, retrogrades three times in 2019. Aquarius, Mercury retrogrades in your second house of resources from March 5th through the 28th, suggesting there may be some cash flow glitches. So check your bank balance and your expenses carefully. He retrogrades in your seventh house of relationships from July 8th through August 1st, bringing a need for common sense in partnership issues. Be understanding and offer help if you can. His final retrograde is from October 31st through November 20th in your 10th house of status, warning you to be careful in career and social situations. So stay focused. Venus, your gateway to love and romance transits for 2019. Aquarius, Venus in your first house helps you reach for the stars and find love during March because she's lighting up your sparkling personality. When she transits your fifth house, cooperation in expressive projects brings some romance from June 10th through July 3rd. And when she's in your ninth house, you may find love in faraway places or at school. And that's from September 15th through October 9th. And you get a second chance for a little excitement as Venus and love returns from afar after December 21st. But don't be too independent or willful in the middle of May when Venus conjuncts erratic Uranus, your ruling planet. Mars, planet of action and desire transits for 2019. Aquarius, Mars inspires you to take romantic and creative action from April 1st through May 17th, when he is in your house of pleasure. Then he inspires you to stand up for your beliefs from October 5th through November 20th, and you can act with self-confidence and focus your personal ambitions. But be careful around Valentine's Day when Mars conjuncts erratic Uranus. And then in mid-June, when he opposes the rigid authority of Saturn and Pluto. Don't lead a revolt. Jupiter, planet of bounty and justice, transits for 2019. Aquarius, Jupiter transits your 11th house of associates all year. New people and opportunities come to you through groups and associations. And romance and love could be just around the corner. Stay focused and don't be blinded by promises that sound too good to be true. When Jupiter goes retrograde from April 10th through August 11th, he suggests you reevaluate who and what you give your time and energy to. Saturn, planet of karma, transits for 2019. Aquarius, Saturn transiting Capricorn in your 12th house of limitations all year, asks you to focus on your inner nature, develop your spiritual gifts, and learn how to listen to your dreams. Your spirit is presenting you an opportunity for growth. Meditation, prayer, and counseling can open you to gifts of new awareness. Now, when Saturn retrogrades, from April 29th through September 18th, you need to adjust your hidden limitations. Uranus, the Earth Shaker, transit for 2019. Aquarius, Uranus transit in your third house until March adds to your ability to assimilate new ideas and techniques into your life. When he returns to your fourth house on March 6th, his strength is felt in your personal foundations. The world is changing and you can't hide. So take the bull by the horns and show the world your intellectual power. Your success 
and a new sense of security can be created by going with the flow and adjusting to new opportunities. Neptune, planet of spirituality, and Pluto, planet of transformation, transits for 2019. Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your second house of resources. You may aspire to lead a more creative life, expressing your talents and abilities. Pluto in your 12th house of limitations helps you eliminate fears. You gain inner strength by following the light of your spirit. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart, which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.